I caved. Now I can put like a decent sized bookshelf right there. So now we get to put it together. I'm about 100 pages into this so far. But I still gave it four to five stars. It was still really cute. It's so good, you guys. It's so good. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another weekend reading vlog, or if you're new here, hi, my name is Katie, and like I said, we're doing a weekend reading vlog. It's Thursday in the afternoon, I just got home from work, and I figured I would start this off just by telling you what I'm in the middle of reading, because I'm in the middle of like six books right now. It's the 1st of August today, and I still haven't filmed my August TBR video, I'm planning on doing that soon, but I have very ambitious plans for this month. I want to read a ton, I'm in a huge reading mood, and also I had put so many books on hold from my library because it had said it was gonna take like 10 weeks for me to get the book, and then I had like six books all at once become available. So now I just have a lot to read. So let me really quickly go through everything that I'm in the middle of. The first one is Crashing the A-List by Summer Heacock. You guys are probably sick of hearing me talk about this because I've shown it in my last like three reading vlogs because I'm reading this slowly. I'm a hundred pages in, probably not gonna finish it this weekend. This is something I read like a chapter or two of before bed every night. So we'll just move on. I am also currently reading Never Night by Jay Kristoff. This is our August book club pick. So if you wanna join us this month, definitely pick up this book. I'm currently halfway through it and you guys, this book. Everyone told me it was going to be really good but I didn't like really know, especially because when I first started reading this book I was just really freaking confused. It's one of those fantasy books that just drops you in the middle of something and you have no idea what is going on. You don't understand the world. You don't know this character. You don't know what's happening. And I was just like sitting there reading it like what is going on? And personally, I don't really like when fantasy books do that. I tend to get more confused and frustrated than intrigued by that kind of opening. And then I just put the book down. But this one, I was confused and frustrated, but I was also intrigued. And I kept reading until I figured things out. And now I'm so into this book. It's so good, you guys. It's so good. So yeah, I'm halfway through this one. I might finish this this weekend because I am just like obsessively reading it right now. And then I'm listening to Auto Boyography by Christina Lauren on audiobook. I started this at work today and I'm already 40% of the way through. So I picked this one up because um, last month I read a Christina Lauren book. I read The Unhoneymooners, which was one of her highest rated adult books. And so this one's young adult and this was one of her highest, I keep saying her, it's a uh, co-writing team. So there, it's one of their highest rated young adult books and I, I remember hearing a lot about it when it came out but I didn't really know anything about it and it's so freaking cute. I can't stop reading it. If you didn't know because I didn't know, I didn't know anything about it but I didn't realize that it was gay and I know a lot of you guys are like actively looking for those kind of books so I can't really speak to quality overall because obviously I'm only halfway through but I'm really enjoying it and it's really freaking cute and our main character is bisexual and he's falling in love with a Mormon guy and it's really cute but also like really complicated so yeah I definitely think I'm gonna finish that this weekend because I'm really enjoying that and then I'm also in the middle of A Reaper at the Gates by Saba Tahir. I almost said Lee Bardugo. There's all this drama going on with Lee Bardugo on Twitter, so her name is just in my head. But yeah, I finished A Torch Against the Night also last month, so A Reaper at the Gates is the third book in the Ember of the Ashes series, and I definitely want to read that this month. I definitely want to read it because I'm really enjoying the series and I want to keep going, but I didn't realize that the fourth book in the series doesn't come out until April of next year. I thought it would come out this year because A Reaper at the Gates came out last year, but there's gonna be a two year gap between the books. So now I'm gonna have to wait a year when I finish this book and I don't like that. And then I've got all of these other audiobooks that got downloaded onto my account. So hopefully we'll just get a lot of reading done this weekend is basically the gist of this. And then I also have these two library books that I've had checked out for a while and I need to take them back soon. I've got Brightly Burning and These Witches Don't Burn. I checked them out at the same time as another one that I did finish. So at least I finished one of the books. But yeah, I wanna read these. I'm probably gonna have to renew them, but I'm gonna read these as well. But yeah, that was a really long intro to this vlog. There's a fly in my room. That's everything that I'm reading right now. Hey 
guys happy friday so it's a little after one o'clock and i'm heading out to an eye doctor appointment which i know some people hate the doctor and some people hate the dentist but i don't mind either of those i hate the eye doctor yeah i've had such a good morning we'll get into that in a little bit because i really do need to get going but i'm almost done with the book that i'm reading i have like 20 minutes left on the audiobook i already got my workout in this morning i've got lots of reading done i got ready i have some videos to film i have some writing to do i have some reading to do i think today is gonna be a good day and my eye doctor is right next to a Starbucks so I think I'm gonna go in and grab a coffee afterwards my original plan had been to bring my laptop with me so I could sit there and do my writing but I just didn't do that so maybe I'll go and I'll sit in there and I'll finish my book while I drink my coffee okay so it is now 2 15 I just spent over a hundred dollars on a doctor's appointment that I didn't want to go to but the Starbucks gave me a free sample of their nitro cold brew it's decent. I still prefer my drink, obviously. I'm sure if any of you guys also wear contacts, you understand the annoyance of it. Because I, my prescription hasn't changed in over 14 years, but I still have to go every single year and pay this $109 for them to tell me that my prescription hasn't changed before they like hold your prescription hostage. They won't let you get more contacts until you do this stupid appointment. So it's a yearly annoyance, but it's fine. So now I'm trying really hard not to spill this in my car. I got the rest of the day to do whatever. I finished the book literally after I finished that clip. On my drive over here, it was five minutes away from my house, I finished the book. So that was Autobiography by Christina Lauren. And I ended up giving it a four out of five stars. It was really cute. If you like contemporary romance, I definitely think you'll like this. This one was really sweet and really touching. Um, I kind of talked about it at the beginning of this vlog. It's about this bisexual guy in a mostly Mormon town who starts to fall for this Mormon guy who obviously his religion is not about that and his family is not about that. He's basically writing like an autobiography about it. And so I liked the discussion of like writing books and stuff because that's fun for me to read about. And the romance was really cute. I liked the first half of the book more than I liked the second half. It's kind of started to go downhill, but I still gave it four to five stars. It was still really cute. Would definitely recommend, especially the audiobook. I listened to that in less than 24 hours. Okay, so I just got back from the eye doctor and now I'm gonna sit down and write out my to-do list for today. If you guys have been around for a while, you know how much I love my to-do list. But I already finished one of the two books that I wanted to read this weekend and it's only Friday. So we're off to a good start, my friends. Okay, now that I've written it all down, I actually like, don't have that much left to do today. I've already checked off like most of the things that I wanted to get done. I went to the eye doctor, I did my workout, I did my yoga and meditation, I finished reading autobiography. I'm like sweating, oh my God, it's so hot. So then all I have left to do is I wanted to get some more reading done in Nevernight. I was reading this last night and I got to page like 200, I think. We're doing well, especially because I don't technically even have to have this done until the end of the month for the book club, but I'm just enjoying it so much. I can't stop reading it. And then I want to film my August TBR video today because I meant to do that before today, but I still haven't done it. And then I need to get some writing done. I've also been meaning to reorganize my bookshelf. I know some of you guys have been asking for an updated bookshelf tour. I'm not ignoring you, I see the comments but I literally haven't touched my bookshelf since I filmed that last video last year because I haven't been living here. But now I think I finally want to break down and go buy a new bookshelf. So I finally have enough room for all of my books and reorganize my bookshelves. So maybe that'll happen in this vlog, honestly. Maybe I'll go to Target and get like a cheap bookshelf because you guys know I have these four bookshelves from Ikea. And then I have this little one from Target that used to be in my dorm room. And then I've just been using my closet shelves. But I'm thinking I might want to move my trunk and like put it in my closet or something. And I could put like a decent sized bookshelf right there. So I'm gonna make a deal with myself. I have to get my writing done for the day and I need to film my August TBR. But if both of those are done, we can go to Target and get a new bookshelf. Okay, so I just finished filming my August TBR. It's a little after three o'clock, so I'm just gonna pop this memory card into my computer so I can start uploading all of the footage. And meanwhile, we need to sit down to write today because somehow it's already three o'clock and I haven't started. On the one hand, I feel like today's been super productive so far, but on the other hand, I feel like I still have so many things that I wanna get done. Hello, good morning, happy Saturday. I have just been measuring this space to see what size of bookcase I wanna get. It's about 10 o'clock, so I think now actually might be a good time to head to Target because it won't be too busy. But I figured I would give you a quick update on 
where I am in all my books. So I started Brightly Burning last night and I'm about 100 pages into this so far. And I couldn't sleep last night, so I ended up just laying there listening to Nevernight for a little while. And I got a few more chapters in, one chapter 19. And then I also started another audiobook yesterday. I started listening to Sometimes I Lie by Alice Feeney and I got 12% of the way through that one. So yeah, all around we're making some good progress. I also got something exciting in the mail. I caved and I finally got the illustrated Harry Potter books. You could get the box set for the first three for 50% off. I've been really wanting to get these just because duh but I've also been in the mood to reread them and I think this will be a really fun way to reread the books. So yeah I'm gonna get some shoes on. I guess I'm just gonna go to Target looking like this. I really don't care and we're gonna see if we can find a new bookshelf. Going alone might be not a great idea because I don't know if I'll be able to carry it but we'll figure it out. So I just got back from Target and it was a successful trip. We got a bookshelf and it looks like it's gonna be like the perfect size for that space. I kid you not though this thing weighs more than I do. I'm sweating. This is what I got if you're curious. It's a five shelf Dude, I don't know. I basically just wanted something that didn't have cubes like the rest of mine. I know this isn't gonna be like super wide, but I think I can still fit a little bit more on there. So now we get to put it together. Okay, so I have a feeling this is gonna take me a while, but I got myself some cold brew and I'm gonna listen to an audiobook while I try and figure out how to put this together. <laughs> I put together my little one that was also from Target that was in my dorm room and that was really easy, but it was also really tiny. So I'm hoping this one will be as simple or close to it as that one was. <laughs> That took me like two hours and I still need to secure it 
to the wall but honestly I am so proud of myself that I managed to do that by myself. <laughs> the instructions were so confusing so I ended up looking up a video on YouTube which helped a lot but yeah. Okay so I've gotten a little bit of writing done. It's about 4 30 and I've been going back and forth on how I want to organize my new bookshelf but this is what I have so far. So this is what it looks like and then you look at my old bookshelves and it looks like horrible. <laughs> so I know reorganizing those is going to take me a long time so I might like film a whole dedicated video to that because I'm not going to do it today and then also the old little one has also <laughs> kind of taken the hit. I think I'm going to get one of those like cloth like divider baskets for the top to put all of my wires and stuff in and then I'll figure out what I'm going to do with the bottom too. But yeah I still have all of these sitting over here and I still haven't touched anything up here and i'm still probably gonna move some stuff around i'm happy with the bottom shelf i just put my harry potter stuff and then my old journals down there because i wanted like heavy stuff to hold the shelf down and then i know i'm gonna keep the top shelf as paperbacks because i just didn't want to put anything super heavy on the top and then i kind of just started off with putting favorites on here and then just kind of transitioned into trying to make it look nice like matching the color scheme and then i'm thinking what i'm gonna do with these is just do alphabetical by author i used to do it that way it's been a long time it's gonna take a long time to get these all back in order again but i think that's what i'm gonna do but not today i've also been listening to audiobooks and stuff while i got all of this done so i made some progress in brightly burning and never night but now i'm gonna take a break and get some more writing done because i've only written a couple hundred words today hey guys so i've been editing this vlog right now and it's already pretty long and I know tomorrow is also going to be long because I'm going to do like this bookshelf reorganization and I'm hoping to still get a lot more reading done tomorrow. I think I'm actually going to split this vlog into two parts so I'm going to end this part here. Sorry to do the annoying like to be continued thing but here we go. So thank you guys so much for watching this vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know down in the comments what you guys have been reading lately. I would love to know. Anything I mentioned in this vlog will be linked down below as always as well as my social media if you want to come follow me elsewhere and if you want to subscribe that'd be cool. I'd like to have you if not and you've watched this far in the video honestly i'm just impressed so yeah i'll just see you guys in part two to this vlog or whatever video of mine that you see next bye so hit me so hit me Hit me. First a confession. With you, I feel a connection. With